Okay, so in a previous lesson, we learned how to make a string constant by using a care pointer and pointing it to a string of text within quotes. To be clear, we did not learn how to store a string of text inside a pointer. We learned how to point a pointer to where a string of text begins in memory. It is important to reiterate that you cannot store a string of text inside a pointer. It is a common beginner misunderstanding to think that this line of code means store the string of text, hello Reddit, into this pointer. That is not what it means. It means you're creating a pointer which is going to contain the memory address of the start of this string of text. So in this example, we have created a pointer of the data type care and we have assigned it the memory address of the string hello reddit. In an earlier lesson I introduced arrays. An array is a collection of data elements of the same data type that reside in memory one right after the other. This is very important as you will see. A string of text is the simplest example of an array. With a string of text, you have a collection of data elements, in this case characters, each residing one after the other in memory. To create an array, we basically need to follow these three steps. First, we need to choose a data type for the array. Every element in the array must be of the same data type. Second, we must choose a size. Now, in reality, this is optional, but for the purposes of this lesson, it is worth having this as a step. So for right now, I want you to consider that we're going to be choosing a size for the array. That means how many data elements there are going to be inside the array. And lastly, we're going to store the data into the array. Now, remember that I said that a character string is an array. Let's look at the string of text from the previous lesson. So, we have already seen how to create this string of text as a constant. How do we create it in such a way that we can modify it? The answer is that we tell C that we intend this to be an array of individual characters, not merely a pointer to a string constant. Here's how to do that. Let me go ahead and make this into a comment. And now, First of all, why did I say that this is going to contain seven characters? Remember, this right here tells how many data elements we're going to have. Why did I say seven when there are six characters? The answer is that there are not six characters, there are seven characters, the last character being the invisible null termination character. Keep that in mind. So here is what I am saying. I'm saying create a variable, not a constant, a variable called string. And keep in mind that string is not really one single data element. It is a chain of seven different bytes, each byte being an ASCII character like you see here. So here comes a question. What exactly is string? Is it a constant? Is it somehow encoded differently in memory than figure A? The answer for both questions is no. It is not a constant because we have specifically told C that we want an array of variables, of care variables. A variable can be modified, a constant cannot. By saying that we want an array of variables, 
then C knows that we plan on having the ability to modify those characters. Is it encoded any differently in RAM than a constant? Than a string constant? No. The exact same bytes are going to be stored in exactly the same way, except it will be stored in a different range of memory. It'll be stored in the read-write range of memory rather than the read-only range like we talked about. Now, consider this code. This code right here. Actually, let me go ahead and there. Okay, so consider this code. Notice that I specified a size in bytes. Now, it turns out that this is optional. If you do not know how many bytes you need for a string of text, you can omit the size and just put and just put two brackets and then C will understand that you want C to figure out how many bytes you need for you. You'll get the same result. So let's take a look at this real quick with some sample programs. So there's the structure of our main program that we always have. Now let's go ahead and create an array of characters. This bracket syntax, having the two brackets, is what makes this an array. Now I can either give it a size or not. It's, it's optional. In this case I'll give it a size first and I will... It's important that I have six characters here because by giving it a size of seven I'm saying that the null termination character is going to be the seventh character. And now I can do a printf statement. The string is percent %s array of characters. Now let's go ahead and run that. And so you see the result. Now if I don't know how many characters, I can omit the size and let's say let's go ahead and write out a string. Oops. There we go. And now I have not put a size, but C knows that I want C to figure out what that size will be. So when I run this program, you will see the result. Everything works fine. I'm still saying that I want an array of characters, specifically an array of character variables. So what's happening here is by not putting the size, I'm just telling C that I want C to count the characters, including the null termination character, and C will figure out how big I want my array to be as a result. So the next question I have for you is, what is this array of characters? Well, you should remember that the printf function, when you specify percent %s, it expects a memory address, it expects a pointer. And remember, anytime you are ever working with data that is more complex than a single variable of a, of a given data type, you are working with a pointer. So behind the scenes, this is a pointer and it points to the memory address of the H, which is exactly what the printf function expects. The difference between this and, for example, this is that in this case you are working with a string constant that cannot be changed because it is going to reside in read-only memory. With this, you are working with, a ver with an array of character variables, which means that unlike a constant, it can be changed. And we'll be working on that later on. So remember that programming languages, including C, 
give you some ability to work with pointers abstractly so that you can work more efficiently. It is still important to understand that the process going on behind the scenes is that this is in fact becoming a pointer. And we'll talk more about this later on. So I encourage you to take a bit of time and practice creating a program where you create an array. I encourage you to try it where you give it a size and where you don't give it a size and then where you print the string using a printf statement. Now if your string is larger than your size then you'll have problems so make sure that you count it correctly and remember that spaces and the null termination character also count so you have to count every character including the space and including the null termination character if you are going to give a size to the array so for example if our string of text is ABC 123 then the size would be 7 if our string of text is ABC space 123 then the size is going to be 8 and if I run this and there you go also remember that if you have a slash n character that is a single character and so in this case it would still be eight three characters here one character here three characters here and the null termination character altogether make eight and if we run this program the string is ABC new line one two three alright that concludes this lesson if you have any questions feel free to ask